Now you have two options when it comes to increasing your ROAS. One is lowering your CPA. You could try to decrease your CPA from $20 down to 15 and your new ROAS would be $40, which is your average order value divided by 15, which would lead to a ROAS of 2.67X. Or you could increase your AOV from $40 up to $53. And then your new ROAS will be $53 on $20, which is the same CPA. And that would also lead to a 2.67x ROAS. Now, which is easier? Is it easier to lower your CPA from 20 down to 15, or is it easier to increase your AOV from $40 to $53? CPA on Facebook is not something you can control. How do you tell Facebook to give you lower cost of purchases? Like, you literally can't control it, and you're at mercy of Facebook's sort of results and randomness and algorithm. So you can't literally lower your CPA, like it's impossible. Like, as you all know, once you obtain a certain CPA average, it's gonna average out around the same CPA for all your campaigns. Like even with secret skills, you can't control Facebook CPA to lower it by $5. Like it's impossible. If a product is having a cost of purchase of like $20, um, you might sort of scale it, gain more data, may run some awesome lookalike audiences. And on average, with all your losing, look like audiences that you killed and all your winning look like audiences, you probably average around a cost per acquisition around $17, $18. The lowest, even if you gain pixel and you sort of move up the ladder of better and better look like audiences, your CPA will not drop all the way down to 15. Like the average overall of all your losing ad sets or your winning ad sets will average around like, if you're good at Facebook, probably could lower it by like $2 and bring it down to like $18 after you scale and gain a lot of data. But there's no way you can lower it from like 20 down to 15. On the other hand, increasing AOV is something that's definitely doable. Like increasing your average order value from $40 up to 53. All you have to do is just increase your website conversion rate, increase your lifetime value. And these are things you can control, you know, by changing the colors, changing out the layouts, adding upsells. Like these are things you literally can do right now to increase your AOV. Whereas Facebook, I can give you all my strategies and you can apply them but you're not gonna drop your cost per acquisition from 20 down to 15. And that's what people don't get. Everyone's talking about how to go ahead and increase your roles, Facebook ads this, Facebook ads that, and you're missing the fundamentals of just increasing your website conversion rate, increase the lifetime value, like doing things you can control. Like people don't talk about these fundamentals and that's why everyone's literally building a house on sand. No one has a solid foundation when it comes to e-commerce.